Hello everyone. Well, for today's video, I thought that I would show you a gift that I got for Christmas. And I received it from my sister, who watches my channel, and packed me a special ASMR Christmas box. So what I'm going to do is just go through it and show you what's inside and then I will be making videos individually for each one of the items in here. So let's open it up and see. course, as any good ASMR present should, it starts with some wrapping paper. When I first saw what was in here, I was confused for only a minute. Until she told me exactly why she got it for me. Then I was very happy. Because there's a few things in here I would never have thought to make a video with. We have some saran wrap type crinkly plastic. Make some awesome sounds. So that's an excellent start. We have a small piece of dry sponge. Which I think will make some very interesting sounds. I'm going to have to experiment with this a little bit. See what kind of sounds I can make with this. So that'll be fun. I'll enjoy that. We have a cat toy, which is more crinkly, plasticky sounds. So this will be fun to open.
sticky paper. That will be very interesting to experiment with. And see what kind of sounds it makes. I may have to mic this up very closely. to get a proper level on the sticky sounds. And this is very interesting. And that's why I like it when other people experience ASMR and have their own triggers. The sound of a metal nut and bolt together. Again, not a huge sound like the crinkling plastic was, but a very subtle one. And I think if it's mic'd up properly, sound really cool. So, looking forward to that as well. We have a chain. Looks like this is another pet item. A collar of some sort. So it makes rather high-pitched sounds. So running this through my fingers and working with it. Some nice rapid clicking sounds as it goes up and down. Let me know what you think about this and its potential for an ASMR video. It has a very different sound than stuff I've worked with before. And we have a piece of, or a roll, of a streamer. It has a dry, papery sound. Crumple it up. Scratch on it. Probably tear it. Oh, yeah. Makes a very nice tearing sound. Let's see what else we have here. We have a puzzle. Looks like it's Disney or something. With different puzzle pieces to put together. You can hear the sound of the different pieces. 
inside the box. So that'll be interesting to play with. And then we have a bowl with saran wrap over the top. And it's filled with little plastic beads. And I know there's a lot of ASMO potential here. Inside the bowl, rattling around. Then we have a glass jar beads that are a little bit bigger. The sound's just a little deeper than the other beads. And this is another container with small seeds inside of it. They look like corn. So it's a very similar sound, but the plastic gives it a different sound. And I think the Corn is a little bit different texture and makeup than the beads. And there's also some tapping you can be doing. Another piece of plastic sheeting. Much more gentle, crinkly sound than the blue plastic. Very vibrant pink color too. And one of the reasons I'm going through this item by item in one video is because when I do the videos for each of these objects individually, I won't be speaking in them because my sister prefers my videos where I'm not talking because I sound like her brother because I am and that can get in the way of her ASMR experience which I completely understand so I'm going through these now and then when I explore the different possibilities I will be just doing it with the sound of the objects only. So this are two metal cups and another packet of seeds. I think these are lentils. 
that I can pour back and forth from one container to another. And that should make some very nice sounds. Here's a metal tin. And this is filled with all kinds of very cool stuff. We have a glass disc and another one. They sound very cool when you tap them together. It's almost a bit of a vibration sound in there. plastic poker like chip two of these make a very nice clicking sound as they pass over top of each other and then finally there's another metal chain Each one of these makes a sound by itself, and then all together. And this is going to be a tricky one. It is a bell, and it has the potential for being very loud. So I want to handle it with care. This is one I will have to practice with before I shoot a video so that I know exactly how loud it will be and what I can do with it. But for now, the plastic bag is awesome. We have a book of matches that are incense matches. And they made the whole box smell very nice. So they seem to be wrapped in a foil. And it says, light match, let burn down half inch, blow out, and place in an ashtray as shown above. Now, I don't know how many people have ashtrays anymore, but I can put it in a bowl or something. I don't have an ashtray. It says matches will smolder when extinguished. So they're basically like miniature incense sticks. It says here bayberry, so I assume that is the fragrance. So we only have two items left. And I think this is going to be the most challenging to get a nice sound out of. It is a collection of cotton balls. But again, I think if we mic them up close, they will make some very interesting sounds. I have to be very quiet when I'm doing this. So. I always like a challenge. And who knows? Maybe some very new ASMR sounds. Especially, I think, when I pull them apart. They tend to make kind of a squeaky sound a little bit when you pull them apart. 
And then finally, we have this long box, which has a slide top to it. Inside, there is a plastic chopstick, two of them, and it looks like a hair ribbon for a girl. My sister has two little girls. So, I'm sure this came off of a craft project or something that they did. So that'll be very interesting to work with, plus the wooden box. And that's it. Lots of nice items to work with. So let's put them back. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to talk a little bit about why there hasn't been a video from me in a few weeks. Just briefly, we had a lovely Christmas time with my wife and kids. And we were planning on seeing my folks and my wife folks for New Year's. And we got a call the day after Christmas from some friends of my father-in-law who said he was not doing well. And so we went up there a little earlier than we were expecting. And he was not doing well. And during the course of the next few days, he passed away. So, while it was not completely unexpected, he was 88 years old. It was a hectic time. So, there was no time to make videos or anything like that. And we are now in a different phase of our lives because my mother-in-law has Alzheimer's, so we will be taking care of her. I don't know yet how that will impact my video schedule. Right now my main responsibilities are getting the house ready, so there's going to be some construction work, and dust and noise and all kinds of stuff. So I will try to make a video when I can, but I wanted to at least let you guys know 
why the schedule may change a little bit from my usual three videos to four videos a week. So it may be one video a week for a while. But I definitely want to get back to making at least three to four videos a week. Because I like that schedule. And thanks to my sister, I have plenty of material for my next several videos. So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I will be making many more videos. And you can also follow me on Twitter at ASMRVids. So I will see you later. Leave a comment down below about what your favorite item in this box was and maybe some suggestions as to how to get some really good ASMR sounds out of them. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.